you just watched one of my more previous videos, uh, my series Let's Talk, I kind of was talking about this exact topic. And so if you watch it, you can you know that I'm just overall, you know, done with this shit. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm done with the anime games, bro, in a sense. I'm just tired of them. The lack of effort and creativity that I see in them just has me at this all-time low of expectations. So even though, you know, the concept is cool and everyone's wilding about it and they got all RDC World, uh, everybody big, you know, they're getting hyped on this game. Even all that, it doesn't matter because that's just what Bandai does, bro. They hack the community. The anime community is a very tight-knit group. Most of us, okay, that like these type of games are connected to the internet. We're always seeing all the latest stuff. So Bandai goes and just kind of hacks it, essentially. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great business move. But I'm just saying. I don't fall for all of it. So with all this excitement and hype going on, you know, they they dropped they've been dropping a nice amount of gameplay. I mean, I think the reveal had gameplay as it is. So when I see it, I am just very skeptical. No matter the fact, I'm telling you, no matter the fact, I will be buying this game. And the reason is because I skipped J Stars. I kind of regret it because a lot of people say, oh, this, this, they talk about it, and I honestly have no clue what it felt like playing. Based off what I saw, I didn't like it. Did not look that let me let me refer it's not that it didn't look good but it didn't look like it had the potential to really last and keep me for long which is what happens with a lot of these anime games so since i skipped that i feel like i i need you know i need to get this so i can at least have a an opinion with experience playing it you know versus me, me having an opinion of j stars and never touching it. i just think that's wrong but with that being said my hype levels are on full alert i'm not excited I'm just interested. So let's get on topic, okay? The reason why I am skeptical, the one thing that has made me m the most skeptical out of anything that that's happened yet is the reuse of combos and character moves from Burning Blood. Yes, this kind of refers to the One Piece characters. So with that being said, obviously, this could be seen as not too big of a deal or, you know, a big deal, one or the other. But my reasoning for this skepticism due to those seeing that is the fact that it makes me think that they might not have put enough thought or creativity in the combat. If you look at these movesets that they've shown for the characters we know, their movesets are almost identical, almost exactly identical to the ones that happened in Burning Blood. And even based off of what I see of the combat, it makes me think maybe, maybe this combat system is similar to Burning Blood's. Now, the thing is with that, Burning Blood was by far, any means, not a bad game, okay? It had its fair share of flaws, which anime games do have, but with updates and, and things like that, I, I went through this in my other video, but with, you know, some support, it could have gotten to the point of Storm Series in terms of uh, competitiveness and fairness. But, you know, I think it's obvious that obviously this game wouldn't just be based off of Burning Blood because we have all these other universes, uh, Naruto, DBZ, and uh, Hunter x Hunter, all the other things in anime games that are going to be in it. So obviously they can't just take that type of combat whatever gameplay but it's still like i was saying gives me to think that maybe it's just a bunch of these similar all these other games that they've made with their movesets put into this game and then they just kind of find a way to simply blend them together and make it all work and so with that i just think that man i, I just don't like that idea you know i wish they could have put more effort into the gameplay because right now it seems like more of the effort was put onto the graphics dude they had the graphics look crazy they got all these crazy sparks effects going on i'm telling you that shit is not cheap and i'm really thinking more of the budget went to that because if you think about it you could just kind of reuse all your other move sets and from different characters and games and all your other mechanics kind of blend it together simply you know and you have your combat system i'm telling you i think that's what's going on but again i'm buying this game you know, like I said, I'm just always on high alert when it comes to anime games. So, yeah. So, let me know, though. Are you guys getting this game no matter what? Like, are you guys interested in everything like that? Are you guys skeptical like me or what? You know, let me know your comments and thoughts. I hate when I do that. Your thoughts below in the comments. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But, yeah, other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Why these niggas always trying to move when I move? You can't keep up with the pace, please don't try to make room Playing switch all in your face, I can't see what you can see I'm not finna run the race with no chances to lose hey. But with that being said
my hype levels are completely non-existent. But with that being said, my hype levels 